Don't look now, but there's something fun, fast, and furious going on in Lamoni. The game of futsal is being played on two brand new so-called mini pitches right at the middle school. The $200,000 project is courtesy of Charitable Foundation's Kick It Forward and Deco, along with Musco Lighting of Oskaloosa. The fun began back in August. First thing was we came in and we built the structure, which was the beginning of July. And that took us uh, a little over three days to do. And then now they're coming in and putting in the surface and what they're doing right now is putting down a, a, a primer coat and then they'll put down some colors and it'll for the final surface. Futsal is a lot like a regular game of soccer but on steroids pitting five on five with unlimited substitutions. And when we brought this project to the city of Lamona and the school district everybody got pretty excited pretty quickly as I don't think there are many brand new facilities being installed in Lamoni at this point in time and especially for, for the children and for the youth so we're excited to be a part of this. This is part of a greater project where we plan to put uh, 10 of these pitches across Iowa uh, within the next 12 months. So really a, a fantastic project and, and we really hope that the youth of Lamoni get a lot of uh, use out of this system. It gets better. The new mini pitches will serve a wide range of age groups. It's not just for kids. Ranging from anywhere from four and five year olds who want to come and learn how to play ball games, but we're uh, right up to senior citizens because we've been able to source pickleball nets recently. So we, we uh, are answering a call from the senior citizens of Lamoni to be able to play pickleball. We'll add some basketball hoops We've got a freestanding volleyball net. So basically this mini pitch system in the next few weeks will be transformed into a multi-sport complex for any of the people in Lamoni. Word of Lamoni's newest gem made its way to Des Moines, prompting a visit from Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg, who spent a few minutes kicking the ball around with the kids. But uh, what, what a great, inspiring project here. Uh, a partnership with, with, between Graceland University and the Kick It Forward Foundation and Musco Lighting and, and the local school district. Uh, just a great way to encourage healthy living and, and introduce kids to the sport. Really impressed that Lamoni would have uh, one of the first ones in the state. Um, I think that says a lot about the community. It says a lot about the partners that are involved. Uh, and I think it's an exciting, uh, exciting thing that will, I think, build momentum in other rural communities as well. Last year we did one of these in uh, Columbus, Ohio, at an elementary school. And our last day of building it, we look over and there were about 15 to 20 kids lined up along the fence, all with soccer balls, just waiting for us to finish. And as soon as we finished, they were out there playing that. And you can't keep the kids off it once they're allowed to go out on it. They, they just love it and take to it, and they take care of it, which is just incredible. The Lamoni School District, Lamoni Parks and Rec, Graceland University, and the City of Lamoni are all on the same team as Kick It Forward, Deco, and Musco Lighting. What a winning combination. Go get it,